We can still talk about this, but I definitely want to throw this in the mix. Um, and Drill, if you're watching, cut this out to his own section. Um, yeah, like, so, yeah, so Kim Kardashian and Mayweather, they're sued for allegedly promoting the crypto scam. And by the way, they're not going to be the, the, they're not the, the, the last to be, to be sued. The majority of these motherfuckers are being sued. And really, it's, it's a, it's a one person who's probably going to do like some class action lawsuit because they're not the only one that got scammed. And honestly, man, yo, yo, I, I've had these conversations. I just don't want to tell you with, with which rappers and, they just, they all just tell me it's like they don't feel like they're scamming their audience. You get what I mean? I kid you not. Every lie. artist I talk not to, who lie, does this, I've been told, I've been knew it. Fucking NFT was a scam. I've been told niggas that shit was a scam. Bro. Here's the thing though, I'm, and this is what I've learned: NFTs aren't a scam. Not but, necessarily. No. But, but, but what's not. a scam is that. What's what's a scam is that these influencers they act like they're gonna support a project, and they get paid money regardless. And what happens is everybody buys in, and and and, and the people who own the project have like a a, a tremendous like you know they'll own like fifty percent of the shit. And what happens is, or they'll own like what what's called the gas fees or whatever the case is, and they basically just cash out. And leave people with it. Like yeah. I kid you not, yeah. shit. I'm gonna lie, shit. I even new concept though, huh? Like this is okay. I like, just like, I think it's foul. Is... I'm gonna just be honest. I think it's foul. Like I ain't gonna yeah, lie no, to you. Is... Rolling Stones been hitting me up asking about six nine. I even told him I'm like nigga, like tell these motherfuckers to stop asking. Like I'm not your manager. Like we homies, but like nigga, bro, I don't like this is not my business. You know what I mean? They're like, yo, hey, could could you? Could we get a statement on like I guess they doing some story in six? I don't give a fuck what what y'all doing. Yeah, about the, the the trolls NFT. I, I don't know what that's about, brother. But yeah, here's he the thing: he I got offered mad money uh, to do shit for different. You know what I mean? People every day, people come to me with like, "Yo, bro, you could get this amount of money. You could get this amount of money." And I ain't gonna lie to you, it is enticing when somebody tells you like, "Yo, you could get," like for I heard the numbers for everybody. So and by the way, it, you know like. Six nine, that's my nigga still. But but you know what I mean? Six nine did it, Uzi did it, yeah, Trippy did it, Pump did it, they all did it. Now, here's the thing. The thing with a rapper, and, and and I told every single person, I said, I'm not gonna do do it. And they all said, Why? This is free cash. I said, you know why? Because y'all are artists and y'all are cool, and y'all don't ever have to talk to your audience. And y'all just literally Go months without dropping music or even communicating with your. Yeah, act like your audience don't exist. I gotta get on a stream and I gotta do YouTube videos and I gotta do a podcast and I gotta talk to these motherfuckers. It's not just random people who I could just fucking scam and just be like, oh, okay, let's act like they don't exist. And when I drop some new song like five months later, they love me again. Like these are people that if I betray their trust, they're not gonna fuck with me. They're going to look at me like, this is that scummy-ass nigga who did that shit. And no matter, if, even if it's a million dollars, it's just not worth it. These people have been rocking me for years. But for artists, like, the next time Uzi drops some shit, y'all going to love it. The next time Trippy drops some shit, y'all going to love it. When 6 9 drops his music, y'all going to love it. It doesn't matter for them. So I tell them, I'm like, yo, y'all could do y'all thing. I can't do that shit. I had artists who was like, yo, you, yo, you have the platform that posts more than us. We want to get you on board because you could post and hype it up more than us. And I'm like, bro, I can't do that. And some of these people, like the, the people who I'm mentioning, it's well known that they had these projects, which were pretty much all pumping dumps. Let's be honest, right? right there's so other artists who try to recruit me. By the SEC. Yeah, the, the, there's other <laughs> artists who try to recruit me that I just won't mention their names because, like, I guess maybe their shit, like, they did their shit a little bit more covertly. But, like, well, we know who we know who going down, though. Wait, Ag, you said Rolling Stones was hitting you, like, to post it and shit on your page? No. The, the, the same mother... So, it's Rolling Stones magazine who did this. The, the, they're invested in researching and doing these investigative reports for people or influencers who scammed people with crypto. Y'all want me to say names? You want me to say names? Don't say names? Kim Kardashian and Mayweather. This article that you see me, that's on the screen, is by Rolling Stones. I know, but you know this. They're other, looking, you know what, they're looking you know at what, Pump. I think I, they did an article on Pump. They're looking at I, all these motherfuckers. Here's my only thing. 
I just think it's fucked up. But here's the thing. I might just have too much of values for that. Because when I talk to these motherfuckers and they tell me how much money they making and they flaunt it and they be like, yo, we about to do this with the money and this with the money, I look like a real broke boy. And I don't want to mention their names because I don't want to sound salty. But you got a so or you you got what's the word integrity like if yes you, anything yeah, for money yeah, yeah. That's, those are the strippers they do anything for money yeah. these bitches getting paid the but but here's the thing though here's the thing and, and this is why I'm not mad at what Rolling Stones is doing you know why because people like Floyd like even though like I, I think this is I think this is beneath Floyd but like these motherfuckers whether it's rappers or some some influencers. They don't have to get and they don't have to face the music. By the time the shit blow up, you know what they're gonna do? They're all gonna throw their hands up in the air. They're gonna say, Oh, I didn't know. Oh, somebody lied to me too. All of these niggas know they're it's a they know it's a pump and dump. They know they're finessing their audience. You get what I mean? But the thing is, what I'm saying is that I know I couldn't do it, even if I was scummy. I couldn't do it because I got to get on here and talk to y'all on a very regular basis. The motherfuckers who's doing this, like Lil Pump ain't never going to get on Instagram live and be like, yo, oh, yeah, remember that shit I was, like, hyping up? Yeah, I, I, I haven't logged into that bitch in a minute. And matter of fact, I, like, I cashed out. I'm good already. You know what I mean? Like, hey, make sure you guys get your money back because this shit's going to probably, like, run y'all pockets. He's not going to do that. He's never going to talk about it. He's never gonna talk about it. But yo, at you see, I you see how the IRS and, and on I, rock, right? <laughs> you see, you see how SEC rock, right? You ain't gonna be able to tell them I, I ain't know. Yeah, but but yeah, but, but, but here's SEC the thing though. Yo, here's the thing That's though. The thing. A lot of these, as much as you think, like for example, like you know, what I mean, some of the numbers I I I, I heard, like shit. I'm I keep it a hundred. I heard I heard Uzi got like either eight hundred thousand or like a million. For, for for whatever his shit is. I didn't even see when it was live on his page. I the people who were trying to pitch to me was just telling me what other people were made. They're like, oh yeah, Trippy made like seven hundred thousand. Bruh. Like, is a trippy NFT popping no more? No, it's not. Is the Uzi NFT popping? No, it's not. Who really buying these NFTs, man? Fans, that's, that's right. what I'm saying. It's, it's your fans. Right, it's it's your fans. Shit, you know what they do? Yo, join the Discord. We're doing some shit. They do it via Discord now. Yo, I, yo, I'm going to keep it 100 with you. I'm going to keep it 100 with you. Discords for uh, yo, NFTs and stuff like yo, that. Yo, I'm going to keep it 100 with you. This is how real I'm going to keep it with y'all. And y'all know I always keep it real with y'all. I won't tell y'all what artists. They've been trying to get me to do it, the NFT shit. I said, bro, I can't. Like, bro, I know what it is. I can't do that to my audience. I can't, like, I'm not, I can't do it. <laughs> Now, you keep in mind, it, bro, it's a ridiculous it amount is, of money, and it, it just seems mad free. They came to me recently, it, and clearly it wasn't going to be, I think it wasn't going to be my audience, but I didn't even get too far in the end of the conversation. They come to me, they said, Ack, we have, uh, how much money did they offer me? I think it was 40000 They said, we have $40,000. They're probably going to pay in like Ethereum or some shit, right? Because like that's all, their world, right? We have forty thousand dollars for you to moderate a conversation in someone's Discord for one of these NFTs. So they say, "Yo, it's not you're not doing it to your audience. You're just basically gonna moderate some whatever, whatever, and hype it up in that Discord before the drop." You feel me? Or not even hype it up? I would have like, done that for the bag. I would have done that. It, it, it's, 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 it's like moderate and whatever, whatever. And like I, I, I asked him, I said, "Bro, like you know, I, I do hosting gigs, it's like right." So like. If somebody wants to host a panel or something, I'll do it. But I'm like, okay, what do you mean? Like, exactly what am I doing? Am I just like, is it just like some Discord shit where people are on stage and I'm just like, hey, okay, I'm academics and I'm just kind of like pouring the conversation to whoever's talking? Or am I selling it myself? Am I trying to like gas the audience up? Or I'm just directing the conversation? I never really got an answer on that. But they offer forty grand for an hour. You know what I mean? Yeah, I would have yeah. took the bread. Said, the all right. Shit. So the person who said I should took the forty thousand, the person who offered me six hundred thousand to say, "Yo, listen, yo, sell this NFT to your audience. The chat niggas will love this. We got, we're gonna make this this unique chat thing that's virtual is gonna live in the metaverse. 
And all you got to do is act like you're behind it, whatever, whatever. It's a month campaign. We're going to give you $600,000. Should I have taken that too? Nah, you tell me. Not. Because it, 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 y'all tell me yes. Y'all tell me yes. I'm going to hit that nigga back and be like, yo, bro. I, th I thought I was looking off my audience, but even my audience said, fuck it, nigga. What, you dumb? Take it. Just take it, yeah, bro. Bro, you think no, the chat niggas going to be mad at no, you? No, no bro, yo, yo, no, but you're not bro. understanding the bigger that. picture. It's not about y'all being mad at me. You know where that money comes from. It doesn't drop out of the air. This is the only thing y'all don't understand about NFTs. There's not free money that exists in this world. Money comes from other people losing money. So I wouldn't make the 600000 oh until y'all lose y'all money. The, like yeah. the, the them giving me six hundred thousand is predicated on y'all losing six hundred thousand, and they're just Damn. saying, okay, maybe you just only lost thirty, maybe you lost two hundred, maybe you lost three hundred. But when it adds up with the amount of people I could bring from all my platforms, they're hoping to get probably like a million point five, and they just give me six hundred while the rest of them, the rest of the people in the project take the million. Y'all niggas just end up basically trading. Trading back and forth twenty dollars and realizing there's nothing in this shit because act done dipped. You would be like, "Yo, act is scummy." Not really. You don't think so? Yeah. Like, 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 I, I, like, I, I, like, I just no, think I'm one of the creators. I just think I'm one of the creators. Like, you know, no this to nobody who does it. My nigga, I don't even promote like, yo, for y'all to talk to me. Like, bro, if you're in the Discord, it probably only need a sub to just get in this chat. Y'all could all just say whatever y'all want to say, bro. There's people who be like, yo. Like nigga, I even, shit. I'm even on Fresh and Fit. I watch them. They be like, "Yo, it's a hundred and up right now. If you don't donate a hundred, we ain't give a fuck what you say." I'm one of the creators who yeah. I don't really look at y'all like a dollar sign, bro. I, I work hard for y'all. I work hard for try to give y'all free content. I hope y'all watch YouTube however y'all can. I go get it from Spotify. That's always been my goal. Spotify gonna give me the back. That's exactly I don't, why I, I, I wouldn't care. I'm the only exactly the person. Care, bro. I'm I'm one but of the just, only creators who I'm like I'm not. I don't need to. Tap your pockets because I know what it's like to be like a, a person who's just, you know what I mean? Yo, YouTube content and like creator shit, bro, there's so much money here. And that's another reason why I be like, like I look at so many people who are just so greedy. Like there's so much money, but people are so greedy that instead of like put like this, I could make so much money on Fashion over of these other things. Why, why would I need to just look at y'all to be like, yo, I need to rob y'all. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. Like how much money you said do you need? It. Nah, you're a real nigga, act, bro, for real. Yeah, I, I, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, if, if you ever did the NFT shit, I ain't gonna lie. But no, I yeah. would do the no, NFT really, shit if it wasn't NFT, if it wasn't bro. some scam shit. Quality. But everybody, I'm telling you, I saw it. It's all of them are scams. But but the problem is the problem is are you looking at it like short sighted as? If you're looking at it just for the money, that's one thing. But if you're looking at it for like what? technology is moving forward to be there's still like a re i think there's still a viable reason to try to understand the marketplace and do something with it that is tangible Kyrie, some of these Kyrie, you you're right yo, yo Kyrie, you, you're right but that's what i'm saying i to this point i've been offered i gotta say at least like 35 maybe 50 between 35 and 50 like nft like opportunities but i'm telling you every single one of those has been a scam it's been, well, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's that's been nothing about, that's long term. Is yeah, like, like, like the you people who are coming to you with deals, you have to do it for your. You got to do it yourself. Exactly. Also, exactly. long term shit. So exactly, if, that's if, what I'm saying. If, you got to do it for yourself. You got to do it in, with your community in mind yeah. of how they can utilize it in the future space once everybody has an Oculus in their crib and, and everything is in or metaverse. You know, it's not even like I, I, I get the way you're looking at it, bro. Sometimes you just like it would have to be something that I'm involved in. Like, imagine I sold y'all some shit and I never talked about it ever again in life. Exactly. Like, but that's, a, that's I, a scam. I think that's the difference between what these guys were selling. These guys were selling the actual coins and not many of these are NFT-based situations. Yeah, man. Yeah, And, and honestly, like, I'm, I, I'm just glad people are getting kind of blasted for this because, you know, they made a lot of money off this. And, and I'm not, like, jealous or whatever the case is, but, like, you know, I always tell people, I'm like, yo, listen, we as influencers, we have such like, you know, it's such a privilege to be an influencer. Like, man, you have your audience who's down. I think you guys give me the most valuable thing possible, which is your time. You know what I mean? Like, I I, I never looked at my, you know, I even tell y'all, like, even how I do, um like, you know, promo and shit like that. I don't like dealing with independent artists. I like taking label money. If the label got a hundred thousand for me, I'll take it. 
if if an artist come to me with five grand, I'm like, man, I don't want you to try to act like I'm caring civil after you you do this. So I don't really want to do no business with you. You know why? And it's it's not because it, it, it's really because of like I feel like I'm about to steal Joe Button's motto right here. I, I like to rob the rich. You know what I mean? It's like. I like to do I like to do business with the people who I know could could lose it, not take advantage of the fans. The fans are supposed to like the fans and the audience are supposed to keep you fueled. They are gonna keep you relevant. That you could get these bags like, like my man Rich, who's the CEO of Fashion Over. He called me like he not calling me if the chat niggas ain't turning up. He say yo, I got to be a part of everything you got going on. He say yo, the podcast. I see the space is beautiful. How can we be a part of it? And I still ain't even hit him back to formulate the plan but he called me before thanksgiving he said we got a lot of money to waste over here it's fashion over we got mad money this money's just money just falling out everywhere act what do you need Dude, and you know I, really i, I fumbled the ball on that because you know i should have had them sponsor like a giveaway or some shit like that not virtually but like you know some turkey shit or you know what i mean some activation stuff but you know we, we got some plans we're gonna go to them with this here but see i like that I don't I don't like the feeling of I right, bet you I just finesse Kyrie for five grand. You know what I mean? Like that's a shitty feeling, bro. Especially if I gotta talk to you. If I gotta talk to you, it's a shitty feeling. You feel me? Like you that's the only act. thing I be I be thinking that's about it. all these all, all these people. Man, I know mad people who they like a particular artist and the artist just said, Oh, this NFT gonna be popping. Man, they bought mad of that shit. They bought a lot of it. And them and them artists. It's not even them. Like, they gave their page to somebody else to run. They just collected the money. And for whoever who said SEC or whatever, man, a lot of these NFT joints, they giving these motherfuckers, especially rappers, they giving these niggas money to cash. These niggas ain't trying to, you know, I ain't trying to stench on nobody or whatever, but these niggas not claiming nothing like that. I just think it's shitty, man. Just don't scam your audience, man. Because your audience is the only reason why you're here. Maybe not Floyd, because Floyd, he was a boxer, but like, come on, Kim K., Come on, Shorty. You, 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 you was doing the Patrick the Starfish getting piped out like to get famous. Like you, you were influenced. You were one of the biggest influences. Don't scam your audience. The biggest problem with like them getting like away with it though is like they're gonna get away with it because like I feel like you shouldn't be able to get away with it if you don't have no money in the crypto space at all and you just got money for promotion shit, but you don't got none of them coins at all. You got nothing to like show that she was invested in this coin or this project. You should go straight to jail for that shit. Man, yo, 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 and and, and this is where it gets, like, complicated, right? It's like, man, all of this bullshit is, like, I know people like, oh, the government gonna catch people. Bro, like, in in reality, nigga, I could do all this shit. The government ain't gonna catch me, bro. They gonna catch the people who did it the biggest. Like, I really think Logan Paul gonna be getting audited for the next 10 years. Like, that nigga... From when I heard that nigga made at least 50 to 100 M's. Like, you make a little 600 grand. Like, the government, don't, like, they, they can't chase everybody. It's like the PPP loan shit. You know what I mean? Niggas probably finesse the government. Bro, they can't chase everybody who finesse them. They're going to chase the ones who, like, yo, nigga, you bought a Lambo? You bought this? You bought two houses? You gave this person, like, a Ferrari? Nigga, you going to jail. But, like, if you did a PPP loan scam or whatever for, like, 20, 30,000, not saying I'm co-signing it. Bro, you probably going to skate, bro. Like, they can't get everybody. So, so like, you know, like, we're going to see a lot more of this, and it's going to be for the people at the top. Like, some of these niggas been scamming. You feel me? Like, they've been doing it at the highest levels. Like, do you get what I mean? Like, look at this shit right here. Like, how much y'all think Floyd probably got? I ain't going to lie. Just, just from, like, the numbers I heard about. I heard I heard Kendall Jenner tweet cost like two hundred thousand dollars or something. No, a post on her Instagram cost two hundred grand. Imagine what it is for Kim K, who's the biggest of all of them, to promote some shit that's probably branded around something connected to her. If you give two hundred grand for like a random tweet, right? And, and, and I'm getting my numbers. I tell you where I get my numbers from. Remember that Fire Festival shit. Yeah. They paid oh, yeah, Kendall Jenner crazy. 200 grand to tweet out that, yo, the festival's going to be going on. It's going to be lit. 200 grand. You feel me? So if they gave her 200 grand for that, man, I'm thinking Kim K probably getting like a couple of mil just, you know what I mean? Just to oh, rock yeah, out. Easy, bro. Easy. For real. And, and also, you like, yo. You're a billionaire and you scamming. What's going on? You say what? 
She married to Kanye. That nigga's a billionaire. You should be a billionaire. Yo, so up. Cool, yo, I'm, yo, 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 I'm gonna tell y'all the truth though. I'm gonna keep it a hundred with y'all, man. Listen, like you know. I know I'm definitely not one of the. We talk about money. We ain't talking like a broke ass bum ass nigga, like you know, like Freddie Gibbs. We talk about like money, money. I'm hey, definitely not. I'm definitely Gibbs. not one of the richest, right? <laughs> I'm not definitely one of the richest. You know what I mean? I'm decent, but trust me, the the richer I've seen, the rich, the richest or the richer people I've met in life, they're the most selfish and the scummiest too. So I know y'all be like, most, yo, she's a billionaire. That. You're probably looking like, yo, she a billionaire. Why you need to do this? This is what billionaires do. do. Billionaires, how yo, billionaire. how you think they get to be a billionaire? Oh, they got to do this shit. You know what I mean? Like, yo, yo, if you think that integrity and morals brought a nigga to, yo, listen, integrity and morals didn't bring a motherfucker to nowhere but the homeless shelter. You feel me? <laughs> like, yo, Kim K's probably be like, yo, man, fuck that shit. What you said, five mil? Man, throw that in, yo. Yo, hit up my business manager, man. Fuck these niggas, man. That's what it is. Yeah, they said Paul Pierce in this shit, too? Hell fucking Damn. yeah. That nigga oh, got shit. fired by ESPN. Of course he's doing this shit. What? That nigga was <laughs> smoking a black and mine and had hookers bread. in the background. What do you think he was going to do? He's starving. Come Paul on. Pierce ain't nah, been nah, the same since starving. he went live <laughs> smoking weed with the strippers in <laughs> Columbia. No, nah, no. Nah, he definitely not starving, oh, no. though. He, he definitely not starving. I'm going to tell you the truth. Nah, of course you. I ain't gonna lie to you. Truth be told, I really be thinking like, yo, listen, man, yo, act, man, like, yo, you know, you really came from, you came from Jamaica, living on the countryside, man, like, yo, you got a good reason to do some of this shit. I ain't gonna lie. Once I heard that, uh, um, I think it got leaked, so I ain't reveal no personal information. I'm like, man, like them little gambling sites was offering eight and like a million a month. I'm like, yo, like two a month. I'm like, I think he asked the number. Yo, imagine getting a couple million dollars a month. Man, a nigga couldn't tell me shit. Bro, you hear that nigga now? He be saying he sold his soul to steak. He said they give him all the bread. Nah, speak for yourself, little bro. I don't know what you're talking about. But you got to scam your audience. You got to influence them to get on there and lose their money. That's the thing. It's just two milli right there, though. It's two milli. You know, it's funny. He going to sit around and play like the, the, the inside. I didn't know what I was doing. Dumbass. Yo, I don't know. Well, 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 here's the thing, though. And, and, I, and I ain't bring that up to judge him. I brought that up to say, like, yo, you know, as y'all was saying, oh, she's a billionaire. I guess I'm asking y'all, and I know a lot of y'all might be like, well, we're not in that position. But I'm just asking on a hypothetical and theoretical, you know, situation. How much money do you think that you would need to make in your lifetime for you to, you know, like, start choosing what what maybe perceived morals over other things? Not enough. Like like Re like, hold on, like, like how much money if you yeah, like yo? It, how much money if you like yo? I ain't gonna lie, man. If I had like couple mil, I'm cool. Or, or like if, if I had three mil, I'm cool. I could do everything I want to do. Now everything got to be on my terms. Or is it always a nonstop chase for money? Nah, it depends. Depends. It depends. Always no, a nonstop. Like some niggas is living a 